Hello, welcome to Maths with Jay. Last time we downloaded Maxima and then we installed it. So now we're ready to actually see how we can use it. Now, before we start, it's a good idea to have a look at how to configure it. So we're going to look at edit, configure, and you'll see that in addition to the default that you will have found ticked here, I have also ticked enter evaluate cells and open a cell when Maxima expects input. That will make life much simpler. And then once you've done that, you would click on OK. Um, also useful here, you might like to have a look at style and then you can change the uh, the various fonts for the um, whether it's the default or the title if you um, have a look down here there's lots of different possibilities so you can stick with the defaults if you want but if you want to make it a bit clearer you could do that too um, also useful you might like to have a look at the options here so I'll leave you to think about uh, what you want to do there and let's have a look at actually inputting something when you're doing um, something in Maxima, you may well want to insert your own text. So, for example, we might want to start with a, with a title. So you can see if we click on cell, we've got lots of options here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a title cell. So let's do something really simple. Let's find the highest common factor of two numbers. Right, so that's a title input. So now let's uh, put in the command. Now the highest common factor is also known as the greatest common divisor. So actually the command we want here is G, C, D. So we key that in and I'm going to key in open bracket and you see now that's actually given me open and close brackets. And then I just put in the numbers, so 48 and we need to separate them by comma, 32. And that will give us the answer. So we've looked at how we can input a title and how we can evaluate the greatest common divisor.